Good morning, my name is Ken Roberts. I'm the Vice President of Sales at Smart Utility Systems. I'd like to thank you for joining us this morning. I'd like to thank our panel guest who actually spoke highly about the uh, challenges that we have. And you know, we all agree that the challenges are that we have a problem sustaining energy, water conservation, and that's a global issue. It's not just here, it's everywhere around the globe. And uh, SUS really comes through with providing the different platforms that are offered and required to attain energy sustainability and water conservation. So who is SUS? SUS is the number one growing SaaS cloud-based platform in the industry. It's by offering the sustainability of energy, water conservation through platforms such as customer engagement, mobile workforce, and analytic platforms that also support the uh, different platforms and getting the back-end analytics and all the dashboards, meaningful information for not only the customer but, and the field worker out in the field doing all the work to support the customer service request, et cetera. We were established in 2009, headquartered in Irvine, California, and we are growing significantly. We're the number one customer engagement in, uh, platform awarded Smart Grid Product of the Year Award, not only last year, but this year as well. Our customers see the core value in our platforms, and that's why we're growing significantly. As you can see, we have over 400 employees now. We'll be eight years old in July. And uh, you can see that the industry is really embracing us because we're making a dramatic impact, positive impact, on energy sustainability and water conservation through our different platform offerings. We have a very senior team. Uh, in management, they come from the industry, PG&E, SEE, LADWP. So with all the knowledge that they have, we've uh, developed these platforms over the last eight years, and now they're award-winning. We've won over 20-some-odd awards just over the last year and a half. We'll go to the next. Okay. Now, just think of how young we are, and look at the, the, uh, the uh, partnerships that we have. We have SAP that we're fully integrated with MCF. We're fully integrated with our HANA Cloud, as well as the ISU CRB. So 100% certified with all the backend systems. We connect very quickly. So what's, what's the, um, the uh, positive aspect of that? It's a faster deployment to decrease the cost of implementation of the platforms that we offer. And it gets the platforms out to the customers, as well as the field workers, and all those dashboards that we want to see the data. One of the, inf one of the major challenges is data. We're getting all the data from all these directions, but our platform absorbs the data in OMS for outage management, GIS, uh, showing where the, uh, it's located on the map, that is the outage, and what's the status of the outage. It also supports electric vehicles out in the field. You know, you look at the transformers that are being weighed to support all these electric vehicles. In California, where I come from, we have a l large population of electric vehicles. And it's playing havoc on the grid. But with our platform, you can send a notification to those charging their cars at a certain uh, station and actually ask them to go to another station with an incentive to pay a lower kil per kilowatt charge. So that's how we sustain the grid and manage it without having a failure or, or an outage. We have a tremendous amount of uh, clients that, or partners, as you can see. Deloitte, I have a story for every one of them. Deloitte brought us into the city of San Diego, which I'll give the story later on that. Fairfax Water, one of our uh, clients, is an SAP back-end water utility in Virginia. Very, very, uh, pr uh, pr uh, <laughs> it was a very, uh, very good deployment that we had. Very positive. They spoke on our behalf in SAP for Utilities in the United States on the great job that we did there in the deployment. Uh, we have Simple Energy in Australia, we have Nalcor in Canada, we have JPS in Jamaica. As you can see, we're growing globally. We now have closed a deal in China, I can't mention the account, it's too early. And we're just growing dramatically, not only in the United States, but globally. And again, it's because we're making a big difference. Now, Glendale Water and Power, that was our very first client, very successful deployment. And what happened there? To make a long story short, they went to the city council. They said, we've deployed our smart meters. And now the city council says, OK, the customers have a smart meter. They're paying for it. What are they getting out of it? Well, with our customer engagement platform, they now get all their usage information. They can pay their bill. They can look at their electric vehicle. What's the optimum time to look at or charge the electric vehicle? 
and it's going to be less money to charge at that time. I'm going to have to move quickly because I'm running out of time. So we've won all these awards, Glendale Water and Power last year at CS Week, the largest conference for customer service, was awarded the Mobility Award with our platform. And we have partnerships or awards from IPPI, uh, the uh, SAP Pinnacle Award winner last year, as well as the Innovation Awards, Mobility Awards. We get a lot of very good press, as you can see. There's no need to look at the press in detail. We also have uh, the key thing, you know, in addressing all these smart city challenges is education. You have to engage with the customer. You educate the customer on the importance of water conservation, energy sustainability, and you give them a platform which they can leverage. For example, on the energy efficiency module, they can look at all the rebate programs that are being offered, uh, energy saving tips, water conservation tips, everything's there so they can leverage and participate and make a difference because it's not only the large commercial institutes that are, that are customers of the utility, which can make a big difference in demand response programs, it's everybody participating to have a sustainable future. Distribution losses in India alone is 1.5% 1, 1.5% of, uh, of the uh, GDP. So again, what's important here is giving the Indian people a platform that can help with demand response, participating in the program, as I mentioned earlier, and down below to the lower right is consumers, educating the consumer, educating the commercial businesses that are your, your customers, and giving them the platform that they can leverage on. That's what SUS does extremely well. The role in smart cities development. I'll go back to the city of San Diego, what we did there, Deloitte introduced us to the client, we went in, we had 14 meetings. They wanted to make sure, they were very concerned about our, our ability to integrate into their back-end SAP systems, Zitron, MDM, et cetera. So after that, to make a long story short, they finally said, okay, we have confidence that you can do this. We took the job and the deployment has gone live. It is amazing what we've achieved. We didn't only achieve a deployment of smart customer mobile and web portal, for the customer engagement, it was also a work order module. So when a service request is made from the service module and the customer engagement platform, a work order is generated through the back end, through SAP. And also, we gave them the water analytics platform that we offer, and now they can look at the water conservation, with the, what are the leak detection alerts, Violation alerts going out to customers as reminders that you're violating the guidelines. Water every other day, for example, they will get an alert. And then eventually they will be, a, be penalized if they continue that behavior. So that's what a sustainable smart city is. is but again, it's giving the customer the education and the platform to really leverage on. That's the key. Here's our customer mobile platform. You have 12 fully integrated modules that it can be configured to meet the utility needs. You have my account. On my account, I can go in there as a customer of the utility and have a look at the preference center and decide if we're an outage, what kind of notification would I like to receive? An MSS, a text message, a push notification, IVR. I decide how I want to be communicated with the utility, which engages me and gives me the preference on how I want to do that. The billing module, I can pay my bill. I can look at my history. Usage, I can look at the usage. If I have an issue on a usage on my bill, I can look into my usage data on my platform, on the mobile device or a web portal, and I'll have all the information there as to why I went over on my budget. I have a budget notification that I can have set up, and I'll get an alert once I use 50% of that budget for that month. So it keeps me in check on my usage. And then I can look at the different efficient and the efficiency module. I can look at the different programs to enroll in them and really uh, conserve energy and water. In the United States, we have utilities that are both support water and, and power or water or just electric. So we support all of them, gas, electric, and water. Uh, notification. We have a notification where all the information is two-way communication between the utility and the customer. So they have all that information. The service module, it's pretty straightforward. Service requests can be generated from there. Compare spending, I can compare myself against my neighbors and the zip code for the same size home and other comparisons. I already spoke a lot about the efficiency module. 
And the smart home uh, is a HANA environment where I can actually take control of the thermostat and lower the temperature when there are peak load hours and get an incentive. The electric vehicle, I can I already explained how we can manage that, as well as anywhere I'm driving in the United States, we have a DOE um, data, and we can look at all the charging stations around the country as we're driving to make sure we plan to charge our vehicle as we're driving along. And this is the analytics platform at the back end, which shows all the dashboards for CSRs. They can get engaged with the customer if they need to and provide them with all the information on their fingertips and take control even of the web portal if, if the customer is on the web portal or the mobile device so that they can communicate effectively. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And together we can make a big difference. We just got to educate our customers and take these technologies to the next level. And I see, I'm very encouraged with what's happening here in India. I see a lot of progress from what happened last year or where we were last year. And I think that we're now going into the pilot mode. We're doing pick pr uh, proof of concepts. And we're really going to be very successful in addressing these core challenges, which has helped our company grow significantly. Thank you.